Welcome to the second day in Canberra. I was staying here at Uni Lodge in Kuinda Hut. It was nice. I saw kangaroos running around this morning from my bedroom window. And then I decided that after I check out, I'm gonna go look for them. I see a couple of them over there basking in the sun. Hope we don't scare them off. Over there, one, two, three, four, five, six of them. How close can I get? Do you think they'll attack me? Dude, this one's big. Shit. <laughs> I'm sure it can easily take me. It's nice to be out. It was minus three last night. And I would say it's like eight or nine degrees now. But I'm warming up pretty fast. I've got like two backpacks on me. So we've got a bus tonight at 9 p.m. to Melbourne. So we've got 10 hours here to see more of Canberra. We're gonna go to a place called the Pink Lake now, which is one kilometer in that direction. Welcome to the lake with the pink plants. They're called Azola Pinata. Hope there are no crocodiles here. I don't think they will be, because it's Canberra. It's pretty cold here. I don't think crocodiles like cold places. I don't know, I need to Google. Anyway. They're cool, aren't they? Very quiet. I expected at least one or two people to be here. There's nobody here. It's a Sunday. Well, I'm not complaining. I like a quiet place. Make sure that there's no plastic or any stupid stuff around. More people, more shit. I see a bit of paper there, but in general, it's okay, okay. A bottle of hand wash. It's fine, it'll only take 500 years for it to go away. But, uh, so that's the pink lake, everybody. Let's just chill out for a bit here. <sighs> Next spot where we are going is the Telstra Tower, which is that. I don't know if you can see it. The bus just dropped me off here and it looks like it's on top of a mountain. There it is, the Telstra Tower. Yeah. <laughs> here from the wind the wind from the Antarctic it's cold and it's strong can you hear it I'm hiding behind this concrete thing so that's the city over there and we've got the Burley Griffin Lake and all the beautiful mountains at the back if you have a car you can go to all these lovely places around there's a city and, I don't know, these lakes and those mountain ranges at the back. But if you're, if, if it's a walking trip, you're stuck in the city, I would say. <laughs> anyway, it's a beautiful view, isn't it? Okay, time to walk down the Black Mountain and we're gonna walk into the city. So let's say bye-bye to 
the Telstra Tower and I think that's the path over there but they've got steps and everything that's good we'll get down to the city in no time we've got all these eucalyptus trees here can you see them the base is slightly burnt it could be from the previous forest fire that happened here check out this Irish pub here in the center of Canberra it's called King O'Malley's Let's see what it looks like on the inside. We've got a fiddle. Nice snug pub. It's nice and warm. I think there's a fireplace somewhere here. Live music. says Blarney Room over there. The owner must be from Cork or something. I like the wooden interior. Hey man. Got Guinness. St. James Gates Brewery, Dublin. Kilkenny. Irish beer. room let's check out wow everything looks like it's made out of uh, the caskets in which they sell whiskey I know the harp I don't know what the other ones are that's a shamrock the Irish whiskey Jameson cabinet we've got all different kinds of whiskies in there though Jameson brewery again is in Cork so definitely the owner must be from Cork or something the weather here is cold so people would prefer whiskey and you know it's very much like Ireland actually yeah James Gate, Dublin since 1759. Guinness for strength. They used to market Guinness saying that it's got iron and it's good for you. What's this? The Blarney Stone of the South. Ancient Irish tradition says that if you place a pale pint of ale on top of the stone, this stone I think, and make a wish, then your wish will come true. Local experience would suggest that kissing the stone doesn't seem to add much to the outcome of the wish. Ah, I didn't know that. Anyway, this doesn't actually look like the Blarney Stone. Because the stone, recently when we saw in Sydney, it had like a different tinge to it. There was like a limestone. This, this is not limestone. Is it limestone? It looks more like a sandstone to me. I don't know. Anyway, it was nice to see the pub. It's got a nice Irish cozy feel about it, like an Irish pub. Definitely it does. King O'Malley's. So when you come to Canberra and you want an Irish experience, a bit, if you want to get into detail, a bit to Cork from Ireland, you got Jameson, you've got Blarney Stone and so on and so forth. Come to King O'Malley's.